Alan, when ex-president Trump left for his deposition this morning, perhaps the number of fingers he held up for the crowd signified how many questions he planned to answer. He took the fifth from about 9.30 a.m. until 3 o'clock this afternoon, invoking his right against self-incrimination guaranteed to all Americans under the Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. How do you feel, Mr. Trump? Even as federal agents conduct one criminal investigation after a search warrant raid on Mr. Trump's Florida home, he was out early this morning for questions in a separate and unrelated civil investigation by New York state authorities. New York Attorney General Letitia James had convened the deposition of the 45th U.S. president, and Mr. Trump sat for nearly six hours of questions about whether his family's business organization improperly inflated the value of certain assets to get tax benefits, according to a source familiar with what's happening. According to the AG and attorneys for the former president, Mr. Trump took the fifth and didn't answer official questions, a position that harkens back to this statement by Trump during the 2016 campaign. You see, the mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? The bad legal week for former President Trump started Monday here at his Mar-a-Lago home in Palm Beach when FBI agents executed a search warrant that sources say targeted classified records. Neither the warrant nor the affidavit explaining it have been made public. What was alleged in the affidavit uh, bears out, meaning they retrieved that evidence. Uh, it is possible that criminal charges could be filed against the president. Well, as I'm sure you can appreciate, that's not something that I can talk about. Here in the Midwest today, the head of the FBI, appointed by Trump, declined to talk about him, instead discussing a growing threat to American law enforcement. It takes an incredibly special person to be willing to get up every day and give his or her life, sacrifice his or her life for a total stranger. Even before Trump took the fifth and the FBI raid on his Florida home, there were growing law enforcement concerns about a January 6th investigation backlash. Police agencies across the country tonight watching the, the rhetoric rise and one think tank that monitors extremist groups and hate speech is circulating a chilling brief that cites plans for civil unrest, especially violence against political opponents. Judy. Okay, Chuck, with very latest on that tonight. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.